here again, and uh, I wanted to address an issue that I've heard from uh, a few people. If you happen to forget to enable the scripts and um, then start working the spreadsheet and you start inserting and deleting lines, because the script isn't present, neither will the functions that are on all the lines won't be on the new lines that you inserted because that's what the scripts do. The scripts detect that you inserted a line and then they copy the, um, the formulas accordingly. So you might notice that in your spreadsheet, notice in this one, I inserted a line here uh, before turning on the scripts. And over here, you'll notice my work breakdown structure numbers are uh, have a pound ref error. So how do we fix this? Um, I'm gonna walk you through that. Also, if you go over to, let's scroll up a little bit, and we go over these other blue columns, you'll notice that there's no formula in them, in either one of them. But if you go to the, the previous lines, you'll notice the formulas exist. So how do we correct this? Well, we could simply just copy from the cell above down to the cell that it's uh, you know that you know you inserted or you have a problem um, but let's say you don't know exactly which lines there are then what you could do is first start by unhiding the columns at the beginning so that's columns A through F and let's also unhide row 5 okay and now what you're going to do is you're going to take a look and for columns E and F we're going to copy those and you're going to copy them all the way down just like that and notice that now fixed your work breakdown structure so if we go back and we hide those columns Now we don't have the pound ref error. Now we also have to fix the end and the dura dependency columns. I already did the end because I knew that uh, you know the only line I needed to insert was the one from above. But let's say I didn't know which which lines were inserted. What I would do is I'd go to the top of each one of those columns. In this case, dependency, and I would go to five, and I'd copy that all the way down to the bottom of the spreadsheet. Go over so you can see it. And once I do that, let's go back to my inserted line here and look in that column and you'll see that the formula is now present. So that's it. The key columns that you need to correct are columns in the end column, the dependency columns, and ENF. And that's it. I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.